Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and welcome to another FPV flight tutorial video. And in this video, we're going to learn how to do a power loop, or at least I'm going to explain it as best I can. Just like all these tricks, I'm not the greatest at them, but I want to at least give you guys like an idea of where you might start practicing them and some of the things to keep in mind. So let's jump into liftoff and uh, do some power looping. So we're at our level here, the straw bale level, same quadcopter, the Ladrib Skyliner, same uh, rate settings and all that stuff that we've had through this whole tutorial. Also note, notice that uh, our camera tilt is still very low about 15 degrees i think we'll change that because it will help to have a little bit higher camera tilt for this trick now what is a power loop well let me let me give you a little demonstration of what a power loop is essentially it's a loop usually around an object so let's say i'm going to go through these trees and then i'm going to loop the quadcopter around like a loop-de-doop and then come back and fly through the same gap and so that is essentially a power loop. Now, I was thinking about it as I was as I was trying to think of the best way to kind of explain how to do this maneuver. And I think there's kind of two, there's sort of like two ways of doing the power loop. Like, well, there's a lot of ways of doing it, but there's like a real power loop in the sense that like you have a lot of a lot of power and it's a much tighter loop. That was really, that was really bad right there. But it's like, it's, it's like, uh, you you keep the power like that like you see how fast i went i went through um well, i went back through the gap so it's a much more aggressive type of power loop i guess you could call it oh, i'm in the trees there now and i think that's that's actually that's probably like the more correct way of doing it um but it's also kind of harder it takes some more practice um and then the other way that you could do it which i kind of tend to do it this way a lot is actually like a much larger power loop it's kind of like we'll call it like an easy power loop like a sort of like a soft power loop and that is where we're kind of we're we're just doing it a little bit more slowly we're doing a larger loop i mean i guess some people might say that's not even a power loop but that's kind of how i do it and i think that's i think that's a good way to transition from from the sort of the easy power loop to a tighter uh tighter power loop so let's break it down here. So just to visually show you, the idea with a power loop is we have our quadcopter here. Uh, let's say my head is my, my head is the object that we sort of want to loop around. The idea is that we would fly uh, just like normal, straight ahead uh, until we get just past the object. Um, and then we're going to start pitching back. So the key here is pitch and power. So remember that, pitch and power. So to do this trick, we would fly through the object and then right about as we're like, under the object or maybe just past the object, we would start pitching the quadcopter back. So pulling back on our on our right stick and applying throttle. So, so pushing forward on the throttle stick. And what that's gonna do is it's going to bring the quadcopter, um, it's gonna level us out. And then since we're leveling out, the thrust is gonna be bringing the quadcopter up. But since we're gonna continually pitch backwards, uh, we're going to kind of make this loop sort of motion. And the key is to kind of get the timing right so that you are applying the right amount of throttle for the right amount of um, the right rate of of pitch, I guess you could say. A couple things I want to specifically mention about the pitch and the power is that you're going to want to ease up on the throttle when you're at the top of the loop when your quadcopter is pointed down. Otherwise, it's just going to be pulling you down faster than you would want to be. So that's kind of like how I was talking about doing sort of like the easier, like the sort of the softer power loop, where once we're at the top, we're almost just kind of uh, sort of gliding or we're just sort of using our momentum to carry us through. When we start to come back around and our quadcopter is no longer pointing straight down, then we can bring that throttle back to help us arrest our fall and pull us back towards the object. So that's basically how it's supposed to work. Let's just get in here and practice this. Let's try this out um, a whole bunch and just see if we can get good at this and see what it looks like when we're actually trying it out. So let's uh, let's aim for our gap here. And of course you could use, you don't even have to necessarily use trees or a gap or anything, but it's helpful to have an aiming point. So like that, that was an okay loop, but I didn't really, I didn't really keep it very close to the to the actual trees um 
that's a little bit better. And I think what's going on there is I think I'm giving it a little bit too much throttle at the first part. And so that's kind of causing me to go too high. So maybe what I need to do is actually give more pitch. Ooh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I needed to give it a little bit more throttle at the end there so that I would not slam into that fence. Um, let's try this again. So that was that was okay. That was that was kind of good. That was a little harsh in terms of when I leveled out the quadcopter. That was that was pretty good. So like I said, that's more of like maybe more of like an actual power loop, but it's more aggressive where you're really keeping the power uh, through the entire loop, which is kind of why it's called a power loop. Um, but it can also be fun and and good, you know, practice to kind of do a larger loop and you're less likely to slam into the ground as well. But that, that was pretty bad right there because I went way too high. And then kind of just fly back through. Now, we've been doing this with a 15 degree camera tilt and that's pretty darn low. Now, the thing about having low camera tilt on your quadcopter is that um, your quadcopter is going, like by the time you actually see the the gap that you need to fly back through after you've completed the loop, your quadcopter is going to have to be more, um, a little bit more level. And so that's not going to really help you in terms of really powering through uh, finishing that loop, um, if that makes sense. So if we have much higher tilt, much higher camera tilt, then I can already see the gap, uh, see, see the gap that I'm trying to fly back through when my quadcopter is is like basically vertical like this. So let's raise the camera tilt a little bit and give that a try. Well, let's actually double it. Let's do like 30 degrees. That's that's pretty. Uh, that's a pretty good amount of tilt um, for like freestyle flying. Um, and so let's let's see how let's see how we do with this. So that was that was kind of a split S right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yeah. Also keep in mind that when you are changing your camera tilt, it's going to change like how your quadcopter flies. Um, all around so do keep that in mind you're going to want to warm up uh, a little bit before you actually try out like a power loop with the higher camera tilt so let's see here let's see so i'm, I'm this, this is looking pretty bad for me uh, but let's try this out so i want to i want to pitch there we go that was better that was better let me show you how kind of how to not do it which is how i did it a lot when i was first learning which is like i would pitch back like that to where i am uh, my quadcopter is basically leveled out before I've like gone back through the the gap, the gap between those two trees, and then I have to like level back out. And so now it's I'm kind of ooh ooh yeah not super great. So it's really just very much uh, throttle management and getting the timing right with your pitch and your throttle. And then again, this is going to change how on how heavy your quadcopter is all kinds of stuff like that. Ugh, see, that's bad. So that that's another example of I'm putting in too much uh, pitch. I'm pulling back on the right stick too much because I'm not I'm not letting the quadcopter do that loop like that. And sometimes you will get really close to the ground. So um, do keep that in mind. You probably wouldn't want to actually try this with a fence right there. Uh, if you're doing this in real life. You also don't have to power loop around an object or through a gap. You could also just pick an aiming point like these hay bales and then uh, kind of practice power looping through. So you just imagine that you're power looping over something um, kind of like that. I think that's probably a good way of warming up to kind of just get, get a feel for like being upside down and pulling back on the stick because it can be very disorienting. Uh, because it's like you're kind of going, um, you're kind of flying backwards for part of the time. So you might just want to try flying, doing these these sort of loops in a big open field and just have like a tree or a hay bale or whatever as a reference point. As the name implies, power loop. It's really more about managing your power, managing your throttle um, than it is on the pitch, but you do you do still need to adjust your pitch a little bit. Shabam! All right, folks, there you go. That is the power loop. I know that's not exactly the I'm not exactly the best power looper 
ever, but uh, maybe this was able to kind of give you an idea of what to do and not do when you are practicing the power loop. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Leave me a comment. And if you have questions about this trick or other trick tutorials, leave me a comment and maybe I or someone else will be able to help you. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you again very soon on the next FPV tutorial.